Alright guys, so welcome back to another video. So this is part two of the qualifying school in Germany. Now this is hole 10 and basically there is a mount uh, going uphill a little bit and then it goes downhill and you have to be careful in this tee shot because if you get it too much to the right, the fairway runs out at about 220 yards. So you have to hit a pretty straight shot and if you miss left, there are some trees. So I use my driver for this shot right here, and this for me was probably the the best drive of the day. I kind of connected really good. I made really good contact on this shot right here, and I split the fairway here. So I did not see the ball because obviously there was a mound in there, but I hit it right in the middle of it. So basically my ball went over the mound and rolled a little bit downhill. You cannot see it here, but if you can carry a little more because this is like a downhill line, like towards the hole. So it was a very awkward shot. I grabbed my eight iron here and um, I was just trying to make good contact here because unfortunately it felt really awkward to hit it in that line. Uh, I pulled this left of the green, but it wasn't bad. So basically it was pin high and I wasn't sure here uh, whether to chip it or putt it. So initially I wanted to chip it but then I decided to putt it. Uh, there was a little mud like right in front of my ball there. So I kind of ignored that. And it was tight around this green right here. I think all throughout the whole course, it was really tight. So it allowed you to putt it. But unfortunately in this case right here, it was a little wet. So when I hit this spot right here, as you can see here, it kind of slowed my ball down a lot and it gave me like probably like a 10 footer for a par so basically here i have about about 10 feet uh, it does look closer uh, one thing that i like about this um this this course is that the greens are weren't really uh super difficult i mean you can you can hold some pots if you read the right line um so i definitely like that about these greens here about i got about uh, probably like 12 feet and on my practice round i was putting really really good so i just went to my standard routine here and it was a little bit right to left here so i was aiming just slightly to the right of the cup here and this is as you can see here uh, it was a very good putt and fortunately i managed to get this in and save par All right, so still four over par, uh, heading to this par five. Now, this is a very difficult par five. If you hit driver, basically you have about 20 yards of fairway. So the best thing to do here is to lay up. And uh, for me, I, I opted for a three iron and my line was the tree right there on the right. So I had to hit it over the tree. And then um, you could also hit like a three wood and you may be able to get it into the total is 432 meters uh, to the hole here. So I hit this pretty good, slight little draw there, and you will see that how tight it is here. So there's a little more space there. Uh, you could actually hit like a five wood. Uh, and then if you do hit a five, five wood, you could get it to the green in two, but there is a tree there that is in the way. So we have to hit like an iron uh, really, really high and get to the green. So for me, uh, I was just far. So I uh, used an eight iron and I was just gonna lay up to the, um, to the left side, but you have to be careful because there is a creek on the left side. So you have to be very precise with this shot. Um, I was just aiming to the right of that creek there. And this was a pretty good shot. Uh, I was a little scared though, because it seemed like it was a little, um, it, it was just very close to the creek, but I managed to get it good. So basically from here, I just have another 80 yards and i decided to use my my 60 degree wedge i did have to go a little over those three the tree that i was um, talking about before which is kind of like in the way of the green so it's quite a difficult hole i would say even if you're laying up i think ideally is uh is to hit a shot straight to the left and then you will have like 60 yards without any any hazards in this case i still have the tree in the way but it wasn't really uh, not fully in play i would say so i grabbed my 60 degree wedge um i was aiming just slightly to the right of the pin and i needed to get this really high as well because i didn't want to flirt with the with the trees there so um for me this was a full swing 
and I will show you that I hit this pretty good but even if I did hit it pretty good you can't really see it with the tracer but it kind of hit like the last just a few leaves and it dropped but um i was still in the green though but just slightly short so here i was a little disappointed because that was going on a good line but it just barely touched those leaves there and it kind of um cut the distance down a little bit so here actually this is like a 50 footer and it wasn't easy you have to get the right line here and you will see that it breaks a lot right to left uh, I did hit this pretty good, but I should have um, just uh, aimed a little more right because for some reason, uh, it just kept breaking to the left, as you will see here. So this is going to leave me like about like a five footer to the hole. So you'll see that I hit it pretty good, but just not, not right, too much right. I need to aim a little more right. So now I'm left with this little... Uh, is it wasn't a tie pan. I'll go ahead and show you. It was about uh, five feet from the hole here, and I went to my routine and everything, but for some reason I just uh, I think I, I needed to just regroup a little bit. Uh, this was to save par, and I just missed it. So I went um, five over par now. So five over par now. This next hole is a par three. Just slightly uphill, not that much, and this is playing 215 yards uphill, part three. Uh, I grabbed my three iron here, but you will notice that I hit this a little bit long. So if I were to do this again, I would have played a four iron. I hit this pretty good, just lost it just slightly, slight push to the right, but it was uh, on the French. So from here, uh, actually it wasn't that bad, but I think um, a four iron would have been a little better for me. So I read this this line right here. It was pretty straight. Uh, just have to aim just a little bit to the right of the pin there. And again, those uh, the, this course right here, uh, they keep it really, really short around the green. So for me, it was better to putt it. And I noticed that other players were putting it too. So. I don't think you need to chip it when the the um, around the green when it's so tight like this. So I read my line here pretty good, and I would say this this was probably one of my best spots of the day. I took my time, and I kind of uh, just make very very good contact, and unfortunately I just missed a little bit to the left. Again, I needed to aim just a little more to the right. Uh, it wasn't a top end. It was probably like three feet. But um, on this day, on this round, I was playing. I was putting pretty good. So I did manage to, to tap the scent for par, as you can see here. So this will keep me five over par heading to the next hole. All right, so this next hole is a par four, 377 meters. Dog leg right. Uh, you can see there in the back, uh, the fairway runs out. Uh, at about 250 yards now the more you can cut to the right the longer you have to hit your driver so my line for me was about in the middle right there uh, unfortunately um, my buddy blocked this shot so you can't really see where I hit it uh, but I pulled this slightly to the left and uh, but it, it barely stayed in the fairway so it wasn't bad as you can see there, it barely stay in bounds. Uh, otherwise, it would have gone on the on the rough there. So here I had about 165. Uh, I didn't realize that you're supposed to miss on the on the left side of the green because if you miss to the right, you're gonna have um, to hit like a really good chip. It's basically dead to the right, and unfortunately, I pushed this right. I didn't know that at the time. But basically from there, I have to get it up and down. It has to be, it's going to be very, very difficult. That's why when you play in these courses right here, you really have to study those yard books, books because from here, you can't really see it. But basically anything that I, that I put in the green is just going to roll. Um, I did not play a flat shot. I think that's something that I would have done. That, that would be the only thing that would have worked here um unfortunately i learned the hard way here so this was a pretty good chip but it's just gonna end up uh rolling to the back of the green so um it's gonna be leave me like a very difficult par save
if I were to do that again, I would have uh, opened the face and I would have uh, probably just tried to barely get it on the green and that would have been a better shot. There was always a risk to obviously hit it short. And that is why I would uh, suggest not missing on the part of the green where you're not supposed to miss. So anyways, I have here about like, um, this is going back to the green. It's about probably like 17 feet, probably. It looks closer, but it's not. It's uphill and I barely missed it. So this is gonna give me another buggy. So I go to six over par now. Okay, so this is another par four, hole 14, 371 meters. So I think about like 390 yards. This was probably the, I wouldn't wanna say the easiest hole, but it was pretty open. Um, there is some room to the left and to the right. If you hit it long, uh, there's, it's, it gets a little tight to the, to the left. So you probably wanna hit to the right of the fairway. Uh, unfortunately here, I did not have the tracer because it was getting dark, but I basically pushed this a little bit to the right, but I was just barely on the on the rough side. So basically, my ball ended up in the rough here on the right side of the of the uh, fairway, and I had about like a hundred and sixty yards. I decided to play my eight iron here, and on this green, for some reason, like um, on the hole, anything that goes there is like it bounces forward. I didn't know that, but I hit this just a little short of the green, like barely a little bit, and uh, I got a very good bounce here. So this one went on a perfect line. The line was perfect, and it just bounced towards the hole. So it was going to give me like a good chance for a birdie here. So I got a, a little bit of a lucky bounce. I was quite excited because this was going to be my first birdie of the day. Uh, it could take me back to five over par. So I did take my time on this putt. Um, it was just like a little uh, left to right putt. Um, so I did look to the line and everything. Uh, again, I was putting pretty good on this practice round. Um, I was making sure not to move my head and I was just taking the club back and forth. Uh, I read the line pretty good, took my time, went through my rehearsal, as you can see there. And I did everything perfectly but you will see that uh, the one thing that I forgot is the pace. So this one just like ended up like a few inches before the, uh, the hole. It was perfect. It was the right line. It was just a little short. And unfortunately, I did not uh, birdie this hole. So still six over par. All right, so hole 15 is a par five. 476 meters so about 500 yards i would say uh, now you see those trees on the right that's um that's about like 250 yards if you're long here you can actually cut through those trees you, but you have to hit like about probably like 260 270 carry and then you will have like a very simple shot to the green so for me my line was left of that obviously uh so i picked my line there i want to hit it on those trees and I hit a pretty decent drive here. Uh, it was pretty good, just a little bit of the left side. I couldn't, I was gonna play it as a three shot, three shot uh, hole here, so. Okay, so I got to my ball here and it was about 250 uh, yards. And I realized that everything was going downhill. So I think in this case, it was actually better to risk a little bit to those uh, trees because you would have like, I would have like 220 yards and it was going downhill, so there was a chance to get it to the green. I decided to do my best here with a three iron um, because everything was going downhill. And unfortunately here, I tried to like kill it and uh, it just I just hit a slice here. So it went to the, no, nothing, nothing, there was no hustlers there, so, but it did not get to the green. So that was gonna give me about 70 yards left. So from here, I have about 70 yards left. I have my 60 degree wedge. The pin is a little bit tucked in to the left side. So I wanted to just hit it slightly to the right. And I, I pulled the one, this one slightly, but uh, it was pretty good distance. So I still had a chance for a birdie here. So just a little short, I think it would have gone uh, just a, uh, a yard more. It would have been very, very good. I'm barely on the fringe here, but again, uh, throughout this course, 
it's better to pot it from there because it's just too tight to chip it so i was trying to uh just pick the right line here and try to see if i can um if i can hold this in i was a little bit um sour from the from the birdie that i missed on the hole before so i really wanted this ball to drop to go back to five over par and unfortunately again i did not hit it hard enough but that just left me with a top end par all right so this is hole 16 i used my driver here it's only 318 meters but actually i got lucky to have um sliced that driver there because their fairway runs out there so good thing that i missed to the right because if you hit driver here and it, you can get it straight into those trees right on the left side so it's definitely not a driver hole i would advise using like a three iron or just you know anything that you can get to about 200 210 yards so now this left me with a very simple shot um it was about 122 yards a uh, little bit uphill this went straight to the flag i mean it was a good line but unfortunately it was just a little long okay so this right here was for birdie um unfortunately we were running out of light so we kind of uh, had to hurry up a little bit uh so i didn't really take my time in this part right here because i really had a good chance for birdie here it was just a straightforward part it was right to left um but i i hit it just a little bit i kind of went off my routine so i missed this birdie putt and nevertheless i parted it but it could have been like a, a birdie here all right guys so hole 17 is a part three downhill is the shortest part three is about 165 yards i used my seven iron for some reason um you have to be careful on your club selection here because it seems like you could go for like maybe like a eight or nine iron but for some reason it plays long even if it's downhill unfortunately you can see the light here but it was basically it was almost dark so i uh, ended up the round up to that point six over par and the last hole hole 18 i tell you what that hole is the most difficult hole in the course it's a par four that actually is a par five for members and it's for the tournament it's a par four so it's a very long par four it's 425 meters so about 450 yards but the main thing there is out of bounds to the left out of bounds to the right there is a big mound that you have to cross and then it goes everything goes downhill and you basically have to be very very careful with the with the out of bounds uh so basically i i play a three iron t shot and then i play a six iron and i managed to get it up and down uh, so i actually um, bogey the hole but it was very easy to double this hole or even worse so i ended up the round seven over par unfortunately i couldn't record the last few holes because basically there was no light it was we were playing in the dark basically the last hole uh it is the most difficult hole hole 18 though so you have to be careful on that hole i was pretty happy about my round um uh, i felt like maybe i could do better maybe you know make the better decisions but overall the course was great i would say in good shape uh a little tricky but you know if you study it a little more you can uh especially to know where to miss or not to miss you can score probably a pretty good score um but you do have to be careful with your t-shirts because there's a a few trees in the way there is a, a few parts on the on the green where you cannot miss it because basically it slopes downhill or uphill and so you have to know exactly where to where to miss and where not to miss i highly recommend the course guys and if you are trying to participate to this qualifying school make sure to watch part one as well i think it will give you a pretty good idea of what you have to do to play at this course so guys i hope you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you can thanks for watching guys until next time